tea. I don't want to freak people out too much about Lyme, but you know, after me personally having Lyme growing up in Kentucky, this is a contrast enhanced MRI showing that there was some left facial nerve issues. And then down here, uh, just like you were talking about, they're talking about here, this upper esophageal sphincter dysfunction. And this guy was having aspiration on both puree and liquid textures. And then they go down here and they show the aspiration. And Correct. this is this is from Lyme. This is hard to believe, but Lyme is Correct. affecting some sort of cranial nerve and it's affecting your throat and potential to swallow. So that's wild. So, I mean, this is why you really, you don't want to leave Lyme untreated. And you and I use a DNA urine test for that, which we like better yep. than the antibody testing, because mm -hmm. if your immune system is suppressed due to mold or something else, your antibody test may show clear and you get a false sense of security. And then if it's a chronic Lyme, you know, the, the plan's a little different than acute Lyme. So once again, if you've got weird stuff, weird symptoms, swallowings involved, throats involved, your throat feels weird, it's potentially Lyme. 